am filming this chit chat get ready with me i'm honestly really impressed about this makeup it came really i just improvised and it really came together um i've been absent from youtube for a while i mainly just posted um videos from my business if you didn't know i own my own business <sighs> kind of scary the dance season's over sad but now i can really get back to youtube um things have been hectic and yeah so i know there's no excuse like i hate excuses i hate when youtubers put up excuses but so give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more and, uh, i almost just did the outro and yeah let go with the video yeah i know i've been gone for a while I'm not gonna talk about it now so yeah i'm priming my eyes using the maybelline instant age rewind concealer i've been liking priming my eyes a little bit higher just because then it like I don't know, I just, it helps prevent crease even more. And what I do is I just tap it and I like to bring it underneath my eye. I didn't really do this ever on my channel because I just recently started doing it and I haven't been on my channel in literally like three weeks. So. For eyeshadow, I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I've never used this before. I literally got it in the mail yesterday and I decided to film it today, which it is so pretty. And by the way, I have I just need one more chocolate bar palette to complete the series. I have chocolate bonbon, chocolate bar, sweet peach, and chocolate gold, and I just need semi-sweet chocolate bar, and then I'll complete the collection. I'm too face addict. So I'm starting off by taking milk chocolate and putting it in my crease as a transition shade. My tip is to give is to like use a very light hand and just go back and forth and back and forth and make sure it's really blended. Alright, gotta get my brush. Next up, I want to go, I'm so excited to use these shimmer shades. Oh, that's a lot of purple. Why did I use purple? Like I said, I'm very excited to use these shimmer shades. So I'm gonna, oh, I don't even know, there's so many. I'm gonna actually start off by going to semi-sweet and putting it in my outer V and blending it. And now I'm gonna take triple fudge. Oh and put it on the way outer part of my outer, ooh, that's pigmented, outer V, and blend it that through my crease. It looks a little bit messy right now, but that's okay, because we're gonna be cutting it with concealer. So now for primer and foundation. Okay, I just did my brows and my liner and my lashes, and I did my beauty blender, but I did my brows after I did that and washed my hands, and I don't wanna get back up. So I'm gonna do it the Instagram way. I'm taking the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation and the Elixir, which I can never pronounce, Valheim Labs. It's the Restore with Zinc Face Serum, which I like to use as a primer because it's really good and zinc always helps reduce like any problem spots. I personally, I know I, like people hate when I do this, but I don't break out. If I do, it's very, very rare, but yeah. I think very little of this foundation because it is so full coverage. And although I like a lot of coverage, like, you know I'm a coverage queen, queen, but like, I mean, it's insane. I say I have to put a heck ton on. All right, what? There's some on the bottle. You know, a pet peeve of mine, really honestly, I'm not trying to shade anybody, but it's definitely going to sound like it. Is when somebody considers themselves a makeup artist, but they've never had training, never did any jobs professionally, and like, is just an influencer on social media. Now me personally, I don't have that many subscribers, but I have done jobs before, like paying jobs of makeup that's not on the internet. I have taken courses before and I've met with multiple makeup artists. And I don't know, it's just like people say they're a makeup artist when they're clearly not. <laughs> and that just really grinds my gears. Another thing that annoys me in the makeup community is when people, oh, got the brow, is when People blend out, get so many views on makeup tutorials where they blend it out with like, I look crazy on camera, where they blend out their makeup with like an animal, an animal, I can't say it, 
with objects other than tools, like makeup tools. I mean like, hold on. I mean like, people are blending it out with fruit. People are blending it out with like, children's toys. People are blending it out with their cell phone. Ugh. Like, I'm just like sitting here using my, they're like, I get it. If you're like, use like things like a cotton ball or something and you're like, cause you can't afford it. I'm sitting here using a brush that I got from a pack of 11 for $3 on Amazon and a beauty blender that I got on clearance or on sale, sorry, on sale. And I'm just here like blending on my makeup like normal and I can't afford a lot. Like I work three jobs at the age of 16 and I save nearly all my money. But when I do buy makeup, I wanna buy stuff that I actually want. All right, now I'm moving on to concealer. I don't even need concealer, but I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose. There's people who like are rich and famous YouTubers and they literally use an animal, and oh, I can't say it, you know, objects that shouldn't be used for makeup that will make them break out in makeup. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wait for this layer of paint to dry while I redo my eyebrows. All right, now I'm gonna set my face in powder. Ooh. I really love the Maybelline um, Fit Me, it's Fit Me, yeah, Fit Me powder. It literally is better than a lot of high-end powders that I've tried. Not all of them. Like Laura Mercier is really good. Makeup Forever is really good. Um, a lot of powders are really good, but this is like the best of drugstore, if not all time. It's like in my top three favorite powders. So I quickly just contoured my face. Look at those cheekbones. Now, okay. So I'm a bit of a Sephora-holic ever since me and my friend Sarah met. And I know she's watching this probably with her family right now. And ever since we met, she's gotten me obsessed with high makeup. So I not only received a Sephora package that I ordered like a week ago in the mail yesterday, but I went to Sephora on Sunday and bought some makeup. And this was one thing I bought from Sephora. It's on clearance though, so it's good. It's the Metal Crush Highlighter from, um, what you call it, Kat Von D. So pretty. Kat Von D's packaging though, like, oh. I've been especially loving this purple shade, and then people are like, purple highlighter, you crazy? But no, it's really pretty. So I'm going to be taking the shade, even though I just said I love the purple shade. And I start off with a light, very light coat, because this is really intense. And then what I like to do, ah, I'm blended foundation! What I like to do is I add a little bit of that to preserve it. Then I take my NYX Duochromatic Illuminating Powder and I take some of this and it intensifies any color highlight. Like legit, you could have like a blue highlighter. I don't know why, but you could have a blue highlighter and it would intensify the blue, the blueness, I guess. It would intensify the color and just the glow in general. And I know it's not really showing up with camera right now, but trust me, you'll see it. You've already saw it in my intro and you'll see it in my outro. I'm talking so much, but it is a chit chat already with me. I'm guessing I'm making that this, this, that. So it's good. All right, I need to find a lip product because I, I literally just threw this look together. I wasn't even planning on filming today, but I'm like, I haven't like posted a makeup tutorial forever. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Lip Jolt. I believe that's what it is. This doesn't really say. In Maple Kiss. Oh wait, no, that, it doesn't say it. This, I got on clearance at Target. You know I'm a clearance junkie. I got on clearance at Target. I don't know why I was on clearance. It is so good. Like, a lot of stuff that is really good is on clearance because people think, oh, it's not that good, but it's really good. And my eyelash is coming up. That's cool. But it's really good. Look at the Kat Von D palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, this. Ugh. And I'm going to top it off with the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. It's the mini that came in the lip tin, I believe it's called. I apply lipstick like a 40 year old aunt. Like literally, it's always overlined. I don't even mean to overline. It's just like, do you see that? It's not on right. I've gotten, I've definitely gotten better because it used to be like squares at the corner of my mouth because it's just dry and it used to like, it used to just be squares. Now at least it looks like 
lips, but still, I'm trying to work on it. Now I'm taking the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. This is in Shameless. Huda literally has never failed me. I haven't used, I used this like once. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Do you, you see that, right? Of course you see, you can see it from Mars. Now I need to add more highlight on my nose. Anastasia Amrazy. This video is literally like 20 minutes long. I need to cut it down. All right, let me go film the intro and outro. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more. And I will, mm, I will see you next time. Bye!